So really sad news. Um, after all the time that we put into restoring our fridge because that was so crappy when we got it home um, after buying it off Trade Me, we went to all the trouble of cutting the bottom off, replacing all the steel where the rust was, recovering the front door and everything and I built the frame for the motor to go under the um, bus and we had pulled up our floor to drop the motor down to where I've built the frame and as we were doing it I don't know whether it was when they were removing it from their camper or not they had twisted the hose the aluminium tubing that goes from the engine uh, from the motor to the fridge with the coolant and just as I was lowering it lowering the motor down under the bus I hear pssss, and all the gas the coolant uh, le came leaking out of the fridge there was a crack and the aluminium at the top of the aluminium pipe so we no longer have a fridge that we put hours of work into fixing up um, so now we're gonna have to buy one but we're kind of pushing our budget a bit now so so the fridge may go on hold um, we've decided just to buy a brand new one because it was so much work we put into it we don't really want to buy another second-hand one now um, to save a few dollars and sort of end up with a chance of ending up in the same situation so we're going to save up for a yeah gonna save up and get a new fridge now I think be the plan hey yes yes so sadly that's gonna tip us over our budget in the sense that we were gonna try and build this bus for under twenty thousand dollars and that included the purchase of the bus that was kind of a a goal or a, a challenge um, more so than anything I think to see if it is possible to buy and convert a bus for less than 20 grand um, we're still under 20 grand but I think hey once we buy the fridge and we're gonna put a new we've decided we need to put a new solar system on the bus because the one that came with the bus um, is quite old now and um, doesn't really because there's going to be four of us in the bus we're going to need a bigger system to um, basically keep every, all the all the laptops charged <laughs> so the kids are um, yeah not losing it on a rainy day or something so yeah um, so we might we'll see I don't think if it goes over 20 I don't think it'll be much hey so we're putting the shelf the actual shelving in now on our shelves is <laughs> It doesn't look like it because we've just actually thrown all our stuff on here because we had to move the bus yesterday. Um, so we still haven't done anything with that. But what I'm going to do now is I want to put the the front, the piece of wood, bit of ply down over this front edge here just to start tidying things up. But um, as you probably remember, I've put the plugs up for the kids. One and two. And so, if I can put that up, I've been running the cable down. So I've just brought the cable up through the floor to come up now so I can connect these two. And then once that's connected, I can put it, put the um, ply on the front. So what I'm trying to keep in mind is that if anything goes wrong with power, I need to be able to easily access it. And I was going to put our inverter under our seat down here because um, it just lifts up and I was going to have it under there and all the cables were going to come up through the floor um, but we put we actually put our pillows and duvets and everything in there during the day so I don't want that sitting on the inverter and having the inverter get hot so what I've done instead because then I also thought about putting it in the wardrobe but we're going to have the same problem with clothes um, being put in the wardrobe and blocking the airflow so instead I'm sure much to <laughs> much to Cindy's delight I have decided to mount it in the bottom cupboard of one of the kitchen cupboards so it's kind of out of the way it's still going to get airflow and as you can see the cable that I've run down here are going to be coming up through the back of the cupboard to our rated chocolate block so we're wiring that off our inverter and I've just put a plug into the inverter and then this will go off and th feed three different um, live areas for 230 volt stuff so we can charge laptops and 
our plugs I don't know if I showed you our plugs they have USB chargers as well so that's just feeding down as well that will come up through the cupboard and hopefully the inverter will live and liven up the kids plugs the one on the end of the bench and up the front of the bus it's still an absolute mess I'm going to be putting a like a little desk and a seat in there um, where we can plug our laptops in or whatever so I've got to run a cable to there as well and that will be our only stuff I think that will be running off the inverter so we were very fortunate and got some Rimu tongue and groove given to us somebody was pulling out an old bathroom or a toilet wall or something and so we didn't know whether to leave it the wood color or not but I think we actually quite like the wood. We painted a few of them, dare I say it. We painted Rimu blue, the blue, um, and it just seemed like a little bit too much blue in the bus. Um, so we've gone and left it with the wood because the wood feels really nice and warm, particularly last night. We had some lights on in here and it just, we had half the blue up and half the wood up and the wood just felt a bit warmer. Um, so we've decided to stick with the wood color and as you can see we are starting to get walls up so this is it going to be our closet but we've still got to do the door yet so cindy's now just catching up on the polyurethaning because we've put heaps and heaps up and um haven't been keeping up with the polyurethane but yeah we're getting there so i think it looks all right with a nice little edge up the side Think professional. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, don't ever look at our videos for how to's because <laughs> we wouldn't have a clue. We we're that. really seriously are just making this bus up as we go, eh? We've had no real plan apart from where we might put stuff. So, yep, looks good. surprise it's another rainy miserable day um so we are just sorting out little bits and pieces inside today i was going to be plumbing the toilet but um it's just like a lake under our bus at the moment so instead we're breaking, Cindy's drill, breaking bits. drill bits sorry there's not much light in here because it's a really gray day Damn it. but we are putting some old cindy's breaking the law that it's okay because they're no longer in circulation by defacing a 50 cent coin from how long or is they, are they still legit or are they different now nah, I don't know. that's an old one eh mm, 67 yeah so know. anyway they're going to be our door locks so the, the yeah. latches that are on there at the moment are really gammy and they don't work very well when we're driving they just pop open so yeah. we're gonna screw. we've had a few spills out yeah. of the cupboard going around corners so these will like screw through there and you just like twist it up hopefully it will just stay up and then when we're traveling we'll twist it down and it should stop the cupboards flinging open yay, yay. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get up, but I'm going to like that. <laughs> It'd be a good way to do a yeah, diet. I hope you're not hungry because you won't get into the cupboard to get food. Yeah. Maybe a little tighter? If you want to, yeah. We kind of want it to I stay don't think it will. I've never seen one that's actually stayed up. That's <sighs> when you need the hand. You just have to hold it up when you open the cupboard. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, you can hold it up. Yay. That'll work. So the tools and oh, that's my phone, is it? Cindy, where are you? Hello. Hello. What's this that we have here? This is um a wardrobe. Yay. Yeah. What an awesome wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. We can finally put our clothes somewhere, which is really good timing because. <laughs> um today we're today uh, uh, we're cleaning we've still got a few in here but we're starting to take all our tools and everything out of the bus and all the wood and we're going to have a couple of weeks break from building 
um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I am speaking at a tiny house conference on Saturday, and so they'd like to showcase our bus. So we're taking that up to, um, so we can have people chomping through our bus, which would be great. And um, number two is because I'm really overbuilding, <laughs> to be honest, and I'm really looking forward to a bit of a change in, you know, mixing up the days. So, um, so everything's kind of going on hold, but I don't know how much, how much did we show in the last video? So we've got our bench, the end of our bench wall up now, with some really nice remu that a friend gave us, which is cool. We got we've done, oh, we've got the caliphanters up. Can you see it? Oh, I'm out of focus. Everything's out of focus. Focus. Anyway, that's the caliphant. Um, so I've done some 12 volt wiring, I've livened up the plugs, I've started putting in um, the backing. This is where our fireplace is going, which I'm really, really excited. I've just heard that um, the fireplace has arrived in Hamilton, where we're picking it up from on the way through to the conference. Um, super excited about it. It's a I found that came across it oh probably a month or two ago eh? Yeah. They're called Roaring Meg Fires. Um and we got the mini Meg because it's just the perfect little size to go in there. Um but I will show you that very shortly. Actually now tiny house builder um, and I think we're gonna have a quiet drink and just enjoy the night and the day that's been <laughs> 